Alright guys, welcome back to the third part for the custom furnace. This is the last part and uh, again all the links for the example workspace as well as the procedures and everything are in the description of the videos so you can find all that. I've also updated the folder to include a document uh, here to explain what we'll be covering today. So uh, basically, what we have is the percentages for the GUIs. So, uh, what happens when we actually click on the uh, GUI? We have several different images here that will basically update based on a certain condition. Now, if we're we're in the GUI right now, so if we were to go ahead and click on, say, the fuel zero, we can see that we have the fuel condition zero set, set up for this. Uh, if we go to fuel uh, one for the image, this one has one bar and uh, the fuel condition is for fuel condition one. So it just increases based on how many bars there are and it goes all the way up to 10 bars, which is a full bar for that. We also have one for smelting as well. Um, zero condition is, let me just double check. So it's an empty one, so it has um, no progress bar where the 10 has all of them so you can see the icons on this one is set to 10 we have the smelting condition to 10. this matters because uh if we go into the conditions here uh there are 10 different conditions for each one of those bars and that's what this document here basically indicates the math for calculating all the different percentages so um i won't go into too much detail of how all of them work they're pretty much the same thing as you can see here this is the same formula as most of the middle ones i will cover the building of the uh first two so these ones or pardon me the first three up here um this one right here uh state 20 percent and then we have the um 30 percent and then we'll also cover 10 percent 0% and the 100% uh, which is the final one. Everything else between is already covered by the 30% one so we don't need to really cover how to build all of those and it's the same thing for the um, what do you call it the uh, what do we got here for the uh, smelting it's the same formula so you don't really need to worry about it just different variables. Alright so let's take a look at the fuel condition zero. Uh, it's pretty straightforward for this one. All we're testing for is if the fuel is equal to zero. So to find these blocks, what you can do is you can go to logic um, and you'll need uh, the blue operator and you're just gonna leave it on the equal. And then what you're gonna need to do is go to flow control, grab a logic operator, which is this one right here, and, or logic return block. And then what you need is a math number and you're gonna set this to zero. And then you need to get the MBT for the block. So we're gonna to go to block procedures, block data, and we're gonna scroll down until we get the MBT one. And then we're gonna just type in fuel for this. And that's all you need to do for that one. All right, so the next one is the first condition, uh, which is one bar. This is a little bit different. Um, we need to actually calculate 1% of the maximum fuel. So in order to do that, I've created a local variable by going to the local variables tab, and then I've created just a variable called max. And then I've set this as a number one, and then I've clicked okay. And then that shows up right here on the left-hand side, or pardon me, the right-hand side. And then what we've done is we've gone to the custom variables, and then it will show up in the list here. So we have maximum, for our variable type. And then what we need to do is we need to go to the math tab and grab the math operation and go divided by, which is the slash. And then we need to get a number from there as well. And we're gonna set this divided by 10 because we have 10 bars, not including the empty one, but we only need to know how many bars we have because the empty one doesn't really matter. So we're gonna also go and grab that same block for the MBT and we're going to go and place it down here and call it max fuel. And this will get our maximum fuel uh, value, which uh, we've already specified in the other procedures. And we're dividing that value and storing it to 
the maximum um, variable that we've set. And then what we need to do is we need to create a uh, return block. So for logic, we're gonna put that right down there. We need an and statement from logic and then we're going to edit the equal sign and select and external input. And then what we can do is we can basically test if the um, feel is equal to or pardon me, greater than zero. So we're gonna grab our math operator equal or pardon me, greater than, that's the one without the line. And then we need to select zero. So if it's any value higher than zero, then what we want to do is we want to get the MBT again. Uh, this is found under the data tab, under block procedures, and we are going to be testing for our fuel for this. If the, the block fuel is greater than zero, and then we can just duplicate this over to the other tab, and we're gonna test if it is equal to or less than, which is the one with the arrow going towards the uh, left here and the underscore underneath it and we're going to replace the zero with our variable which we can go back to the custom variables and then get number and then we're going to place our max variable here so that's all that we need to do for uh, testing for one percent all right, so next what we have is our second percent. Uh, this is a little bit different, pretty much the same math that we did on the top part. Again, I won't cover that part, but you will need to get the minimum number. So I'll cover that part quickly um, for the return part. So again, um, we're gonna need a return block for logic and all these uh, calculations for this part for the variable is exactly the same thing throughout the rest of the procedures. Uh, the only difference is pretty much these parts and the number uh, at the end that we're multiplying the max uh, value by. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a AND block and we're going to go ahead and grab a logic number and we're gonna test if it's greater than, and we're gonna test if the other version is equal to or less than. And then what we want to do is we also wanna grab a math block for the adding and subtracting. This, what we're gonna do is use the asterisk, which is for multiplication. And we want to multiply this by two. So again, this is all shown in the um, percent here. So you can see that the asterisk uh, I just said variable max, asterisk, and then three. This basically means we're multiplying that by three. You might also notice that there are different ones down here. We'll cover that in just a second though. All right, so then we need to get the max variable and we're gonna place that over on this side. And we also need the max variable for up here as well. This is for the second percent or 20% of the bars or this second bar of full of fuel. So last thing that we need is the fuel data, uh, fuel MBT. So we're just gonna grab our number one here and place our fuel directly onto these blocks here like that. And that's all we need to do for the second percent. So the only other thing that we need to do is we need to grab a return block and then an and statement. We've already covered all that. And the only difference that we have here is we have the um, part where it says multiply, which is the asterisk by two and multiply by three. Now for the next procedure and the procedure after that, uh, what we have is these numbers at the end here just change. So basically rather than two, what we're testing for three and then three is four and then basically those numbers from that point on just increasing by one for both of these. So until we get to the maximum one, which is our 10 bar, and that basically just gets the maximum value. And this becomes a nine, so like that. But it's not much different than the rest of them. Uh, once you get this part done, it's pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and just quickly build this just so you guys have a general idea. Pretty much the same thing that we've do, done already, just um, having it on both of them. So we need to go ahead and grab a math operator. We're gonna set this to multiplication. 
And then what we need to do is set our max value. And we're going to duplicate that one more time down to the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and set a number. Uh, this should be two for the uh, three bars and the three bars. Now this should always be the number of bars that you're working on for your procedure. For in the condition that we're working on, we have um, fuel condition three. So this is for the third bar. And this is the third bar that we're basically testing for. So it should be between two and or three and one value below that. So your lowest value up here is always going to be minus one of what bar you're working on. Hopefully that makes sense. And then again, we can just grab the uh, data from the or MBT value from the uh, data tab in the block procedures. And we're just going to add that to our procedure here. So there's your, again, just one more procedure that we need to cover quickly. And that's the 10th bar one. This is a little bit different uh, in regard to how it's set up. Um, rather than basically go ahead and um, multiply it by 10, what we've done is we're just using the maximum value directly for the MBT. So what we can do is we can go ahead and grab our end state or our return block, which is the logic one. And we're going to grab an end statement, which is our logic operator. And we're going to set that to end. We're going to put it into internal inputs. And then we're going to go ahead and grab an equal sign. And we need to set up our fuel first. So we're going to go ahead to grab a number MBT for our fuel, call it fuel. And then what we need to do is make sure that this is greater than, and then we're going to grab a number block and a math block to multiply this. And we want our variable that we've set. Again, we've set a max variable for this. All this is consistent throughout most of the procedures. We're going to set this to nine because we're on the 10th uh, procedure for the bar and we need it minus one for the, the lowest condition. And then what we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab a logic um, or pardon me, a number uh, operator. And we're going to set this equal to or less than. So the one with the lower underscore part. And we're going to grab our MBT here. And we're going to say fuel. And then for the other part, we're just going to test for our max fuel. So just directly like that. Again, you'll have to have your procedure set up for your max variable in order for all this to work. I've already covered that in the first part or the second part. So uh, for the... Um, the procedures that we cover today. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, that's all that you need to do. And then once you've done that, go back to your uh, images. And uh, if you set your numbers correctly, uh, then you want to basically link up your slots. So again, we have fuel slot 10. This is using the 10 condition. And you just click on the images and then you can go ahead and set the image display condition for all these. And that will automatically set up the um, procedures for the display condition. All right, so like I said before, um, the fuel condition is no different than the smelting condition. So it's basically the exact same thing as what we just covered for the fuel. It's no different because the math is exactly the same. As you can see in the document, it's no different for the fuel or the smelting itself. It's just a couple different variable differences. The differences in total are the smelting for what would have been fuel and then the max smelting, which would have been for the max fuel. No other differences are in this procedure other than that. All the same math calculation and everything. Even the last variable that we have or setting from what was max fuel is max smelting. So nothing is different between the procedures themselves. Again, all these procedures can be found in the example workspace. So if you want to just import them rather than uh, build them, that is an option as well. So hopefully you found today's tutorial useful. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and I will link to all of the other parts uh, in the description of the video so you guys uh, can easily find the other parts quickly. So thanks for watching. Peace out.